So of course, naturally, I went looking around going, hmm, which airline stock do I wanna buy? What's up, JR Business? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the JR Garage. I hope you guys are having another great day in quarantine. Just kidding. Well, kind of not kidding, but anyway. So today I have a quick little video in store for you guys. I was about to head over to my buddy Kieran's place because we're running some more Facebook ads for a Shopify store that we just launched. And I figured before I leave, I might as well hop in the McLaren, back it out, and talk about stocks for a little bit with you all. Unplug the battery tender. Bingo. Now we can get a cold start real quick and then we will get, ow, 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 being 6'6", fitting in supercars does not make it easy. Oh yeah. Let's go top down. It's a nice day today. Much better. Very tight squeeze. Fitting these cars in here is so stressful getting them out. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, let's shut her off and get down to business. Boom, don't move, don't move. Okay, we're good, all right, as long as nothing shakes, we're good, my tripod's broken, so I have it precariously mounted on top of the air vent. Anyway, so busy day today, man, whenever I have a busy week and I think I'll be able to like catch up on videos the next week, it always gets busier and busier and busier, and especially now, like I mentioned in the intro, we launched a new Shopify store, and it is doing far better than I could have imagined. Kieran is crushing it with the ads. He definitely knows his stuff when it comes to Facebook ads. You should check out his channel if you haven't seen it already. But anyway, I think everyone is aware of the current economic climate, and especially with this virus going around that I cannot name in fears of being demonetized. Worldwide, it is wreaking havoc on the economies of so many countries out there, and it is probably affecting everyone on planet Earth in one way or another. And a lot of people here in the US are affected, given the stock market is down quite a bit as we all know. We've, we've all seen the headlines in the news. There is so much activity going on in the stock market right now. Huge swings up and down. It is pretty wild. Many investors look at a time like this and see so much opportunity, whereas most people probably like the comfort of their investment going up 6% or whatever, just nice steady increases. They don't like the huge. And there's a plane. If you didn't see yet on our aviation channel, we bought a plane, we bought a Cirrus. That was actually a Cirrus, so it looked just like our plane. So check that out. We bought a plane for training to work toward our private pilot's license. So that's super exciting. Watch the reveal. We flew it a thousand miles home with our buddy Owen. Um, so anyway, side note, planes, cool, yeah. Back to the point of hand. So some investors look at a time like this and see so much opportunity. They love these big swings up and down, people shorting the market, people day trading some of these stocks. I mean, there's a lot of money being made right now despite the amount of money being lost, if that makes sense. So as you know, I'm not huge into stocks. I've done stock videos before. I've traded stocks before. I've made money in the stock market before. But at the end of the day, it's really stressful. I'm the kind of guy who like refreshes all the time, and like sees what the market's at. and like, oh, should I sell, should I get out? Like I have to take a ch chill pill about it. I've been better about it, uh, especially when Christian and I were buying Tesla stock. We loaded up on Tesla stock at 220 a share. I'll throw up the screenshot somewhere, somewhere in the twos. So obviously we've been doing very well on that stock. And Tesla's one that we are definitely long in. We are holding that thing for a long time. We see a lot of potential. We love Tesla, we have a bunch of Teslas. It's a great company in our opinion. Even when it got up to about $1,000, we were like, oh gosh, do we sell? We talked about it for a while, like, oh, that seems really high. Like we're in at 200 something bucks. This is a ginormous profit, but I'm pretty sure we held on to every share just because that was the mindset going into it. And it's very important to like, kind of make up your mind or at least try to when you're buying a stock when you're going to exit at what price if it hits up here at what price if it goes down are you going to cut your losses and are you going to hold it for a certain period of time so with tesla stock we said we're going long we're going to hold it and hold on for long term so of course it's down now a little bit still way above what we're in it at oh geez another plank <laughs> So like I was saying, lately we've been putting a lot more time and energy into the stock market, keeping an eye on things due to all this activity and all of this opportunity to get in while these stocks are dirt cheap. And another big reason we've been trading more stocks lately is because we recently signed up for this trading platform called Webull. You guys have probably heard of them. Super easy to use brokerage with no fees. They have a great mobile app that I've been trading on quite a bit the past couple weeks, and they have a great sign up bonus. So get this, using my special link in the description below, you guys can get two free stocks when you sign up and deposit any amount of money into the account, and there's no catch. I did it, you know, a month ago. I got my two free stocks. One was valued at $15, one was valued at three bucks. So $18 just for 
for setting up the account and putting some money in it. And there's no minimum you have to deposit into your account. So if you're trying to get two free stocks with no strings attached and use a great brokerage platform for trading for free, then uh, hit that link in the description below and you'll be well on your way as well. This virus has affected so many stocks, so many companies across the board, but some of the most heavily hit industries, of course, airlines, cruise industry, Royal Caribbean and Carnival got absolutely hammered. That's obvious those are gonna go down and airlines too, they got heavily affected. Every airline across the board has taken a massive hit. I'll put up a chart. Southwest Airlines was quote unquote, the least affected stock still dropping a staggering 40% but that is small compared to Spirit Airlines, which dropped about 76% from numbers just a couple weeks before. If you aren't too familiar with the stock market, let me emphasize these market cap losses. Companies losing billions, tens of billions, hundreds of billions of dollars off their market cap in some cases is staggering, and these airlines were greatly affected. So of course, naturally, I went looking around going, hmm, which airline stock do I wanna buy? If you guys didn't see the headlines already, Warren Buffett made some ginormous purchases when the airline stock started to dip a little bit. Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway is heavily invested in these airline stocks. So when everything kind of took a dump, they uh, they definitely lost a lot of money. But again, they didn't sell anything. They ended up buying more stock. They took it as a buying opportunity because they are playing the long-term game. Delta was trading in the upper 50s before all the news broke out. Then it dipped into the 40s. And at that point, Warren Buffett picked up another nearly 1 million shares at I think $46 and change each. So that was Warren saying, hey, it's time to add more stock. He didn't quite call that one 100% right, most would say, because it continued to drop day after day after that. And personally, when I saw that he bought those shares and people were starting to say, hey, look at airline stocks and stuff, I was like, okay, they've dropped like 20% or whatever this is. I'm like, I think they have a lot more room to go. So I strategically did not buy anything and I was waiting until they dropped lower and lower they dropped. So from the 40s, Delta went into the 30s and then into the 20s. And that's when I really started to wake up and said, okay, okay, now's the time to shine. I actually did buy some Delta at about $22 a share or something. Um, but I was more interested in some other stocks. I was originally eyeing like American Airlines and I'm like, they've taken a pretty big hit. Like that sounds like a good one. But then I did a little more digging and I came across Spirit Airlines, which we all know. And I mentioned there just a minute ago, they were the most heavily affected market cap wise, losing nearly 80% of their value. So at that price, I definitely thought it was a good play. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up what I ended up buying those shares at. So I'll just pull up the Webull app just like that. Again, super good mobile app, lets you trade right from your phone. So come over here to Spirit Airlines, S-A-V-E on the New York Stock Exchange, and we can see that that order went through at $8.44. Pretty good deal if I do say so myself but I only bought about half the shares that I wanted to. The other half I put in at a lower limit price. Uh, I thought the stock would go lower and I was really banking on all these stocks going lower until today and yesterday happened. As you guys saw on the stock market, everything is in the green pretty much. A lot of companies that people are watching are big double digit winners, including the airline stocks. I guess I should be happy and that I made well over 100% profit in like three business days but I'm also a little salty because I wanted to buy a lot more shares when it dipped what I thought would go lower, ended up not going lower, but I still think it will. So get this, I went ahead and sold half my position. So with the 100% profit margin, I covered all my initial investment. So I'm good, all my money is back and now I'm just letting those other shares probably go the long term and we'll see where they go. So I sold half my spirit positions at $17.59 today. That was near the all time high for the day. Right now, present day, what a Wednesday afternoon, we're looking good. I made the right call on all this stuff, but uh, this could prove very wrong tomorrow or the next day or could prove even more right because my theory is these stocks will continue to drop. They're in such a pickle right now. These airlines, no one is flying. Airlines are struggling to find space to park their planes that are just sitting there on the tarmac with nobody in them, not making money, costing them money. I think something said Delta is burning through like $350 million a week. I think just personal, this is nowhere near financial advice. This is entertainment purposes only. But if I had to put money on it, I'm gonna guess the stocks are gonna go back down. And when they go back down, that's when I'm gonna buy in even more and then hold them for the long term. So that's a little bit of my positioning. Call me crazy, some people may be buying in right now with news of the stimulus package right around the corner. It hasn't been signed yet as of this video, but there is talks to pump 20 something billion dollars in the airlines, which will definitely fix some problems for the short period in the future. I feel like it's a little bit of a band-aid just to cover up the problem, 
but it's not like it's free money. These airlines are either gonna be a low interest, long-term loan, or the government threw out some ideas of taking a stake in the company. They said, hey, if we're giving you this money, it was a big part of your company. Wild things are being thrown around. I mean, yes, it's good in the short term and it'll make the stock price go up 30% or 50% or 100% with good news like that. But again, I think it's a short term fix. And I think in the very near future, especially when things get even worse in my opinion, unfortunately, I don't think we're at the worst of this yet in the US, which is sad and horrible. But I think as the whole airline industry continues to deteriorate and be hit with all these curveballs and horrible things happening, despite the little bit of good news and stimulus and this and that, I still think it's, it's prices are gonna drop. Again, just my opinion. So if it does drop, I will be ready. It could drop below what it was at just a few days ago or last week at $7 and something cents. He's just the Spirit Airlines I'm talking about. You know, now it's back up into the 17s. It could go back lower than it was in which case I would be very ready to buy a bunch of shares. You know, maybe it won't, maybe it'll keep going up. That's the thing you never know about the stock market. And that's the thing that makes it so stressful and it just always keeps you on your toes. That's for sure. I'm certainly enjoying some of these profits. Again, I took a nice profit to, or yesterday. What the heck, whenever did I sell? Yesterday, yes, yeah, yeah. 20, what the heck? T -t -t Today, Junior? Today, this morning. I took a nice profit today and I'm ready to get into some more stocks if they continue to drop. Again, I'm looking at Spirit and Delta. They're two of my favorites right now. I have some small positions in the other ones. Like Spirit got hit the hardest by far and they're not even in Asia or flying in Europe where these really bad hot spots are and where they probably will continue to be bad for travel for a long time. They're just in the US. So like once the US rebounds and things get better here, I think they'll get back on their feet. Uh, definitely low oil and fuel prices will assist that. Now remember, airlines do hedge their fuel prices. They don't get to wreak all those benefits because they have those contracts in place for Jet A at a certain price. That will definitely help one of their highest costs running the airline. Spirit in particular, you know, everyone knows the name Spirit. Like, okay, whether it's good or bad, the memes, everyone knows Spirit. Running low cost carriers, whatever. I fly on them all the time. Yes, you can have a McLaren and still fly on Spirit. I'm in the back of the bus on Spirit paying my 29 bucks to go across country. That is fine with me. So I like Spirit as a company. I got, I got hopes for them. I got hopes for my remaining 50% of my investment. And I got hopes if I invest more more if the stock drops more. So that's my theory a little bit. Hundreds of people have been asking if I've been investing in the stock market and what stocks I've been buying. So I wanted to make this video to address some of that. And people were also wondering like, oh, like is your business still doing okay? Like, are you super affected? And it's like, at the end of the day, I'm actually making more money right now than a month ago by far, especially with this new Shopify store like I was talking about. We have been crushing it. So as you guys know, we sell a lot of old collectibles online and guess what? A lot of people are home right now on their computer, on Facebook, which also means they're seeing my ads to buy stuff. And yes, a lot of people are tied on cash right now. So most people would say, oh, it's a bad time to go advertising stuff. People aren't buying, they're hoarding their money, yeah, da, 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 da. Well, it just so happens my industry is heavily involved in gold, silver, bullion, investments like that. So when people are getting their money out of stocks, when people are not trusting what's going on in the government and they wanna buy gold and silver, who do they turn to? Oh, so that's definitely really nice. I'm really happy we've been able to increase sales when most people are decreasing in sales. Same is true in 2009, 2010. Like we started this business, 2009 was our first full year. That was going right into the worst recession that we've had in a long time in this country. Yet year over year, we've been able to increase sales. 09 at 10 years old, 12 years old, we pulled in like $35,000. The next year, guess what? 72,000. The next year, over 100,000. The next year, a quarter of a million. So as the economy gets worse and worse and worse, we were able to make more and more money. So I will leave you with the quote by Warren Buffett. Be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. So just know your stuff, study a lot, do your research, do your homework, and know that sometimes the worst times can make for the best times. So keep that in mind. I hope you all are doing well. Again, be sure to hit the link in the description below if you're looking to sign up for Weeble and get two free stocks, nearly 20 bucks just for making a free account. I would highly recommend it. So be sure to hit the link in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to pick the free random silver winner from last video. So I'll go ahead and insert that random comment right here. Congratulations, just shoot me a DM on Instagram, send me an email and we'll ship you out that one ounce silver round. I think that will do it for today. It's getting dark. We got another beautiful sunset here in Arizona. So I will leave you with that. Subscribe if you guys are new and drop a comment down below if you have been investing in stocks or maybe had some big wins. I'd love to hear them in the comment section down below. You guys rock. 
Signing off from Arizona, signing off from the McLaren MP412C. We will see you in the next one. Peace.